And then this, this be the road down to the beach. And I did want to come earlier and catch the sunrise coming up over the hill there. But I got involved in a phone call. And so I'm actually setting off later than I wished to. But this is okay, because this is just beautiful. So. Uh, so I'm gonna drive straight into the sun. Or ride straight into the sun. Just to get some kind of shot. down the road from where I live is this wonderful expanse of sand. Um, okay, I'd say the tide's going out because this is how it looks. So, that's looking over towards Nathan, the mountain. I'm not sure if you can pick that out. It's over there. But mostly it's a bit hard to, to cycle. Sometimes the sand becomes quite clogging. And then looking up in the other direction towards the ocean where I intend to go up here. Just do this so you can see back towards the land uh, yeah you can actually get special beach bikes these days with, with got a very big fat tire <coughs> excuse me it's about three times the size of the ones I have uh, you can see them looking down there so I'm just gonna keep going uh, now I should get up here towards the channel which you can't actually see but trust me there's a bit of a channel there you see where the water sunlight's catching on the water and that flows up here and it flows out at the head of the bay now, as you get up here, the sand gets a bit softer and it becomes impossible to cycle. Oh, it's gone bumpy. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> uh, so let me try and get out of this bit. Oh. oh, it's so hard to cycle. Oh. And I'm on, am I on the easiest? No, I think I can go easy on this actually. Yeah, I can. Right, I'm on the easiest level there is now. Terms of cycling, oh, still bumpy. Maybe if I follow these car tracks, it might be less bumpy. a dog. Oh, why is this so? Now, when I 
I get up here, I'll probably have to leave the bike and walk. Oh, <laughs> these vibrations are maddening. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Let's see if we can get in this some tire track, see if it makes life easier. It looks like it smooths out up there, maybe head for over there. Okay, this sand's getting softer. Wow, it's such an effort to pedal, but I guess this is what cycling's all about. <sighs> okay, I'm on the, the easiest gear there is. Oh, I'm being dragged back. Yeah, the sand's really clingy, so I get off the bike. <sighs> That's where I just came from. So you can see, you can see how uh, the bike was sinking in to the sand. So we'll complete the rest of the journey on foot. Hey. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing my Vibram 5 fingers. Ooh, footprints. We're not alone. <laughs> oh, I'm sinking into it now. No way would I be able to cycle just to show you. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go this way, away from the away from the, the channel because the sand gets a bit more supportive. Look where look back where we've just came. <laughs> Sinking again. Now I think I can leave my bike here. <sighs> right. The good thing about wearing these shoes is I can just go straight through the water. Uh, yes, it's cool. be a rather interesting piece of debris up here but I'm not seeing it and 
it's an old metal wheel that's been Oh, here we go. Look at that thing. Wow. That's a big old metal wheel. One, two, three, four, six spokes. No idea what that is. Looking back towards the land. So that's the channel there I was telling you about. And as I walk along here, the sand does actually get more sinky. Uh, quick sand is essentially more sand than water. And there really are some very soft bits. So, we'll go up here. I'm gonna, ooh, starting to sink. I'm gonna go right to the uh, the ocean's edge so you can just enjoy this walk with me I love all the stuff that gets dumped on the beach by the tide like there's a huge piece of uh, very very thick fishing rope I think fishing net maybe Let's take a look. Let's not. <laughs> so, oh wow, look at those waves. Oh my. Can you see right over there in the distance? We've got waves hitting on the headland. And like that particular little beach over there, I say little, it's big enough. That is where I would go with my ocean kayak and surf the waves. Basically what it is, it's a surfboard that you sit on essentially. And that's, uh, it looks like a day for that. Unfortunately, I don't have the kayak with me. Oh. The plant pot. Flub a dub a dub. Whoa, what a lovely piece of wood. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. It looks like it might be a piece of oak. Let me just. Whoa. Gotta love that. Okay, I'm gonna come back this way and bring this home with me, because that is just beautiful. There's something, oh, I can't bring it home with me on my bike. But I can take it to the bike, leave it there, and come and get it later, yeah. There's something absolutely wonderful about driftwood. It's incredible, I mean, it's just a lump of wood that the sea has smoothed something like a stone in a waterfall uh, a fantastic oh wow look at those waves oh my god surf's up i get so excited by surf and you know, I never ever surfed because it was always out of reach. Like, I married Sandy. Um, we met when I was 23, 24. Um, so she'd have been a little younger. And we married, I think, when I was 31, 32. And then spent the next. 20 years or so, raising kids, having a family, being mum and dad, and it was wonderful. But of course, when you're doing that, I mean, I hadn't surfed when I was a young man because I didn't go to any surfing beaches, to be honest. And plus it needs to be said, there's a certain um, uh, hierarchy and a kind of snobbishness when it comes to surfers. Like, uh, 
you know, you think road rage is something, and it is, but surf rage is something else that goes down with surfers. And <laughs> you don't want to be cutting across a surfer who's higher up on the surfing ladder than you are, so, you know. But yeah, I mean, I look at surf and I feel excited. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, and who wouldn't want to live here? I mean, come on. Look at that. If I was over there in my kayak, the thing is, like, I, I won't go out on the kayak unless I'm with somebody who's got a phone. Because, like, uh, I don't know that I'm that experienced that I could paddle myself out of dangerous rips. And I wouldn't want to be uh, washed out to sea without having somebody with a phone that could call the emergency services if I did get into some kind of danger. So, looking over towards that headland, you can probably make out the pier. That's where the local fishermen head out from. And uh, fair play to them. They go out to sea, and the sea is a very unforgiving dangerous place I mean you can feel as a human being that you have some kind of power over your life and the things you do and say and to some extent what other people do and say about you and so on but the sea just does its thing no matter what you say or do this tide will come in and it will go out twice a day and as in the old story of King Canute you just can't do a damn thing about the tide and it's quite wonderful because of that and it has a certain there's definitely a certain power that the ocean has which can be very invigorating and it is this relentlessness here comes the ocean and the waves where have they been? Good question, Lou. Where have they been? Well, here we are. Now we're coming up to, we're coming up to the surf, which I have to say is just filling me with such a sense of excitement. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach the surf without crossing the channel. And every time I've tried to cross this channel before, in the middle, I've actually sank up to my knees in quicksand. And when that happens, the only thing you can do is get down onto all fours as quick as you can before you sink any further and crawl out uh, <laughs> quickly, quickly. Because as I said, there are powers greater than man and they would be the sea and quicksand so yeah if you do start to sink what i found would be beneficial is to go down onto all fours because you're spreading the waves and then providing you haven't gone too far in you can crawl out see that doesn't look too far does it that doesn't look too far and doesn't look too deep. Could I get across there? I'm stood on the edge here. Oh, see there? Look at that. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about there. Right, my, just, just my weight on the sand is turning it into, into stinky sand. So I'm going to back out of there right now. You see? and that stuff clinging around your legs. So what I might do is just walk around this bit of water here and head over to the other side. And there we might be able to get up to the waves, which is what I'm trying to do here. Just so we get the waves lapping on our feet. So that's looking back inland. I come out here I get a sense that uh, I want all my friends to share this with me 
I do have my family to share it with and we do share it regularly but yeah, I'm going to chance walking across this big over here but we're still going to get that whole waves on the beach thing which is why people go to the beach I think anyway I don't know why why do people go to the beach is it for the sand is it for the sea is it for the sun Woohoo! look at that uh, ah what's going on uh, it looks like the tide started to come in oh it is Oh look, okay, so I'll need to watch that that I don't get cut off up there. Not that it's that deep, but it is pretty cold. I'll be honest with you. So, um, another wonderful thing, I don't know if you can see the seabirds out there, but sometimes you get the seabirds, they'll be flying along and then they suddenly dive into the water. There's one, and they're fishing. There's another one, and it's a wonderful sight, truly wonderful sight. Uh, I haven't seen dolphins out here, but uh, I know that they do be out here. Just keep your eye on the birds. Look, look, oh, there must be some fish out there. There must be a shoal, cast dead. Oh, look at the birds fishing. I love that. So I'm walking on the shoreline thinking in my head about an album called Desert Shore by Nico. Meet me on the desert shore. Meet me on the desert shore. There's the sea, or the ocean in this case. There's the sand and there's the land. Oh, it's island. It's green. So here we have, like, yeah, are the waves coming in now? Look at this, look at this. They're coming in. Uh, there's something wonderful about the sight of the birds fishing. At least it proves we've got fish left. And look at the sun now. Look at that. There's another person over there on that far beach walking. Have they got a dog? Very often people walk dogs out here. Uh, wow. So if I put a line in the sand here, and then keep my eye on that, I'll be able to see if the tide's actually coming in. The problem about drawing a line in sand is that when the tide comes in, it goes away and the tide is always going to come in at some point. Okay, that's the kind of view I wanted to get. It's like the waves coming in, the breakers. Oh, look at that one. Oh my God. Oh my God. And the, the line in the sand's gone. So this tide is starting to come in. And look how far that came in. I mean, I was right on the edge and that just came in three meters. Uh, there is such a thing in the west of Ireland as a freak wave. And I, I don't think I'm gonna be as lucky to, to get a freak wave. But is that how they work, they're amazing. Let's see this one. See how I've got to back pedal to keep out of the waters, uh, uh, water. A freak wave 
will do just what that one did. Now I'm 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 like five meters up the beach from where I was, but a freak wave wouldn't end here. They would end back up there. That's the what a freak wave does. Like like you get used to the waves coming in and reaching a certain point, and then suddenly this one. This is on a flat beach like this. It'll just like whoa go way beyond where all the other waves were going and if you're standing on rocks when one comes along then obviously the effect of the wave is a lot bigger than on a beach so the tide is definitely coming in my line in the sand has disappeared as most of them always do with the tide and oh look at that one See, if I was out there on my canoe, I'd be having a, a great time. I'd be very wet and cold, so... Oh, I love the birds, the birds fishing. Oh my God, yeah. So the fish must just swim backwards and forwards across the bay, and the birds must follow them. See, oh, a nice 45 degree angle dive. I like it when they go practically vertical though. Whoa! Two at the same time. So, wow! Oh. So. Sun's going behind some clouds. A terrible beauty is born. Well, it's here every day. Back inland towards the mountain. Tracks of some creature. Bad. So, bye Ocean. See you next time. I'm going to wander back now to bike. So yeah, this is basically for my friends to look at. And my friends are all invited. My friends are all invited.